This video is going to be about genetic recombination and linkage. So we know from the video on meiosis that we have something called crossing over taking place during prophase 1. So crossing over is going to be the exchange of genetic material between two non-sister um, chromatids that are part of a homologous pair. So to kind of demonstrate this, let's say we have um, one chromosome that has two genes on it. Let's say we have a dominant allele and a recessive allele for the other gene. And then um, on the second chromosome, let's say we have another dominant allele for this first gene and then a dominant allele for the second gene. So what's going to happen is now we'll have a DNA replication. And so we'll get two copies of each of these chromosomes. So now these are homologous pairs. So during meiosis, they'll pair up uh, during prophase one, and that's when crossing over will take place. So with crossing over, we'll say it's going to be between these two chromatids on the inside here. So we'll have this gene that gets switched with this one right here. So what that's going to look like is you'll still have the A, B on right there. We'll have this A still, but now we have a part of this um, second chromosome right there. So this other one would look like this. And so now when these get separated into gametes, we're going to have some cells that get a B chromosome. We're going to have some cells that get A and then B. And we'll have some cells that get B or A, then B, and then this. So we have these four different um, potential genotypes that these individuals could have. So we call these two in the middle that are a mixture of um, DNA from both of these chromosomes because of crossing over. So these are our recombinant um, chromosomes because they have genetic information from both the maternal and the paternal um, chromosomes. And so then this one and this one are going to be parental genotypes because we can see both of these genotypes in one of the parents. So we have this AB right here, then right there, and then again here and here. So now that we understand what recombination is, we can look at some cases in which recombination might not happen. So when we have genes that are linked, that means they're going to be located very close together on the same chromosome. So the closer two genes are on a particular chromosome, the less likely it is that crossing over is going to occur in the space between those two genes and actually separate them. So the closer the genes are, the higher the probability that those genes will be inherited together um, becomes. So um, this is true until we get um, a, a little bit farther apart and crossing over can start to take place and so then we might see less linkage and the further apart they get they eventually end up acting like they're on separate chromosomes because crossing over is almost certain to happen at that point. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu tutoring. Thank you.